So we also had manufacturing showing negative today for the 19th month in a row, but not as negative based on reporting. Um, I don't think manufacturing is going to be the savior. It's 10% of the economy, but I don't think it's going to slip much more either. You have any thoughts about manufacturing? It, we still have a, a bit of onshoring going on. Um, corporations continue to emphasize you know, having a supply chain that's based in uh, North America and in you know the five eyes type companies countries like you know the uk australia etc um i think we'll still i think that'll offset some of the slide in general um i'm, I'm wondering where the manufacturing cutbacks are happening i, I know legacy's cutting back on some of their models um so when a when a given model when the sales decline to a certain point, they end up like having to shut that factory down. Um, I, we've heard some of that, but not not a ton. Um, what where the, where do you think we're seeing the manufacturing cutbacks? I think it's I think it has to do with slower sales, in particular of your um, durables. Um, but just in general, uh, things that are made in America, uh, you know. The kinds of the kinds of things that are available to make in America right now, there's either inventory or there's no demand. Mm -hmm. So you know, I was in the bicycle industry for all those years. Typically on a boom bust cycle, you see the items coming back into fashion again, if you will, a year later. And I've yeah. seen that for my entire career. You have one really bad year where everybody, people going out of business and all the rest. And then the next year, things kind of come back to normal or maybe even good. This time, it's we're on our second year. We won't know in the bicycle industry until May or June whether it's going to be a good year or not. But we've already had our two years of really slow business after the boom that happened during COVID. So mm -hmm. uh, that's true for refrigerators. That's true for, you know, just go down the line and uh, both... Um, Home Depot, well, Home Depot got uh, downgraded today because people, mm -hmm. because the, the the folks who, this particular pundit, whoever it was, our, our analyst, believes that they're not going to come back this year. So, um, you know, it's it's those kind of things, I think, that are holding up uh, manufacturing in the United States. Not so much the cars, although that's also still uh, way down from typically, you know, the 17 to 18 million a year down in the around the 16 million level. That's that's pretty significant. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, you're talking about a, a very large com company you know, not growing at all potentially this year. Um, the S&P 500, according to Meyer Thacker, their earnings didn't grow last year. Yeah. And the Wall Street's anticipating that the, the earnings growth uh, resumes to like five to ten percent, and what if it doesn't? Doesn't. And we're starting to hear of, about disappointment after disappointment. Um, so I'm wondering if that trend continues or not. The I've heard that you know guidance generally has been disappointing. Yeah, yeah. Generally, generally so far. Well, first of all, the, the beats have not been by that much, and then the guidance mm -hmm. has also been a little thin. If you happen to be a big fan of the Cybertruck, you might also be interested in this super fun Cybertruck refrigerator magnet and bottle opener. It is made out of super thick stainless steel, just like the Cybertruck. And it has this giant magnet on the back, so it's gonna hold a lot of stuff on your refrigerator. It's an amazing gift and it comes in that great gift box that you saw before uh, that uses a magnet opener, just almost like an Apple box, you know, like when you get Apple products. You can buy it on Amazon for $29.95 or you can buy it direct from me by sending $25 to paypal.me forward slash Randy Kirk, all in lowercase letters. Please indicate whether you want the stainless steel look or maybe you'd like to have this very clever camo version. And then if you're not in the U.S., please add $20 for freight. 
you'd like more than one, please check the information below to get pricing as well as all that information I just told you will be repeated in the information below. So once again, think about joining the channel, getting the up-to-date Tesla news every single day. I think you'll be glad you did.